Hey guys, Egan here again. I got Rick one more time, but I thought this would be even cooler. Is that I've always got lower back issues. You guys like Tipsy had like the, the rolling on something. You always see me rolling on, on balls, softballs, baseballs and stuff. But you know what? I'm gonna take off my shirt so you guys can see my back because I think he can give us a little bit of tips and you can really see it. And I think if you can see it, it's a lot easier to do. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around. And I'll, I'll kind of comment that when you start getting into injuries, the details end up mattering. Now, if you're fine, you're in no pain, you're okay, you move great. But when you start getting injured, in, you have injuries or pain, the details end up mattering. And I'll kind of show you what, with Egan what I mean by that. So if we look at the mid-back, it's important to loosen things up. And you can see Egan's really developed in that mid-back mid area. So he probably ends up having a lot of, bit of tightness in that mid-back. And if you have poor movement here, something has to give. And a lot of times it'll be the neck or end up being the lower back. So we need to do what we can to loosen things up in this mid-back area. Other things, if you sit a lot, if you text a lot, if you play, do a lot of computer work, um, work in, in a sitting position, that'll stiffen things up. Now, we need to differentiate between mid-back movement and low-back movement. So Egan, I'll just get you to touch, like slide your hand as far as you can down your leg. Oh, not, not forward, but to the side, to the side. So you can see now we're getting low-back and mid-back movement. What I want Egan to do is just focus on mid-back movement. So I don't want you to move here, I want you to move here. So it's gonna be a smaller movement. There you go, that's it, it's not a huge movement. And back up, So because I wanna focus in on here and loosen this up. So that ends up being the detail. If the back is sensitive or irritated, we wanna focus on the mid-back and loosen it up. And when it comes to that mid-back, I wanna understand that the joint ends up moving in three dimensions. So it'll move side to side, or oh, we'll go side to side, it ends up being little movements, and little movements. And what ends up helping when it comes to the guiding is I get Egan to kind of cross his arms or go like a genie. That kind of gives you a little bit of something to kind of a, a guide or a gauge. And I usually get people to have their elbows a little bit below their shoulders because if, it, if the elbows are too high, it could irritate the shoulders. So now Egan, I'm just gonna get you to the side, you're just like there, there. And then the next thing, so we've done frontal plane or side to side, the next is rotation. And I want to remember, I want that rotation to happen here. And I want to, I want to rotate the other way. So I'm working on mid-back rotation. And then thirdly, I would do some flexion, so bending for, so yes, like that. And then you're coming back and arching back. Okay, and back to the start. Now it's easier if you do in a seated position because that ends up locking your hips and putting your back in a better position and you can isolate that mid-back area. So remember the details. We want to avoid the low back, focus on the mid-back. And if you do any mid-back work to loosen up, really try to think that you're working things in three planes. A lot of people will do the arching back, but what else is important is that side to side and rotation. Because if we can loosen things up here, the back will be happier, and also, if you have any shoulder issues, the shoulder will be happy. So I, I'm done talking, Egan, and hopefully I answered <laughs> your question. Yeah, so check that out, because that's really good. I mean, we made this video, I actually did it so I can get some free counseling here right here, because, you know, I'm getting up there in age. I still move pretty good. I look like I move good, but I pay the price later on, and some of these exercises will be great for you, too. So if you have lower back issues, try these out. But, All right. Yeah, but that makes a good point. I mean, just because you've gotten up in age and you've kind of collected injuries, doesn't mean you need to stop doing things. There's lots that, that you can do. You can train smart. You can and, and keep doing the things that you want to do. You just got to be a little bit smarter. Focus in on the details. You know, avoid a couple things and focus on a couple key things. Exactly, and that's why I got <laughs> Rick over here, and, and now we're, we're buddies because he's going to keep me training, and I yeah. want to keep training forever and ever and yeah. ever. And, and you know, I'll be out there rolling with all of you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, awesome. and if you guys see this on YouTube again, give me some thumbs up, give me some comments down below. All right, I want to know what else you want because. If I got Rick here, we can always do other yeah, things. Hey, yeah, yeah, ask questions, and we'll either do another video together, or I'll, I'll just answer them on YouTube or wherever. Right on, and then you guys have a great day. See you soon.